Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today we've got an interesting project that we are going to start on. And this is, a, this is going to be a, a very fun collaboration that I'm doing with Weld.com. Uh, a lot of you guys probably know that channel. If you don't, check them out. Another great uh, YouTube channel that has a lot of instructional videos on uh, welding and welding procedures. So the guys over there at Weld.com contacted me and asked if I'd be interested in collaborating with them. They are getting ready to uh, work on uh, fabricating a Santa Maria style of grill as a, uh, as a gift for another YouTube channel called Sam the Cooking Guy. And uh, Sam just got recently hit, uh, he hit 1 million subscribers. So congratulations to Sam the Cooking Guy on uh, getting a million subscribers and reaching that gold play button. So that's very cool. And uh, he's got some cool videos over there, awesome uh, cooking videos if any of you guys are interested in that. So anyway, the um, Weld.com guys are uh, gonna be building this grill and they want to put a gold play button on that grill. So they contacted me. They love they love following my my work and uh, you know on the Instagram and YouTube, and they contacted me and, and asked if I would help them machine a piece of billet, you know, a piece of aluminum, uh, make a play button. Then they want to put this play button on this Santa Monica grill that they're building. So I agreed to it. I thought that was uh, really nice of them to contact me and, and want me to help them with that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to machine a YouTube play button, all right? And then in the end, the plan is once I get this thing machined, they are going to powder coat it. They're going to have it powder coated uh, gold, a gold color. So this will ultimately end up looking like a gold play button. Now, the interesting thing that I was uh, very you know, humbled by was that there's so many guys out there that they could have reached out to to make this YouTube play button. And you can see just, so this is my, my silver plate button, by the way. That's pretty neat, made in USA cast into it. So I thought it was pretty cool that they uh, contacted me and wanted me to make this because there's a lot of guys out there that could easily machine this on a CNC machine in probably a matter of minutes just because of the uh, complex contour and the shape of something like this. Now this was just a cast piece and then they did a polish over it. So it kind of looks like a, a, a bar of soap, right? Well, they know that I'm not a CNC machinist. I don't have that capability that I'm a manual machinist and that's what they, that's why they contacted me. So we're gonna machine this just like I would anything else. We're gonna use the manual machine methods and uh, that's how we're gonna get it done. So I decided I want this to be ultimately a shaper project. We're gonna use the shaper to shape up this piece of aluminum. So I've got a piece right here. This is a piece of uh, half by four aluminum, 6061 aluminum, just bandsaw cut. And we're gonna use the shaper to cut in all four sides and the top and bottom. And then we'll use the milling machine. I'm gonna lay out a triangle in there for the play button. And then we'll use the milling machine to actually mill out a pocket in there for the, for the play button. And they also, they're wanting to put uh, four quarter 20 tapped holes on the back of this. They're gonna mount it. They're probably gonna put some kind of all thread or something on the back of that and probably have it stand off of the grill just a little ways, I, I would imagine. So that's what they requested on the back. As far as the rest of it goes, they said, just use your own judgment on that. I told them that I, you know, not having a CNC capabilities, I, I can't do that kind of curvature like that. You know, it's just, it's not a very simple task for a manual machine. It's very complicated to do something like that. So we're making ours flat. We're not, we're not copying this exact. We're gonna make ours more uh, flat and rectangle. I am gonna put radius around all the corners there. And, uh, and I think that's gonna be it. So follow along. We're gonna fire up the shaper, get this squared up, and then we're gonna, we're, we'll do some fancy layout work on it. Use the milling machine and uh, Heck, let's get let's go get to it. Okay, let's make this cool uh, gold play button for Sam the Cooking Guy.
this is the tool that I'm going to be using for uh, shaping in the aluminum. I just wanted to show you. So all I've done is uh, just re-hone that corner. I used the diamond hone and honed the corner and also the cutting edge there. So we've gone all the way around. You can see the how shiny it is. And I've also touched the top of it there with the hone there as well. So it actually will only touch this edge and this edge because this is radius. But honing that edge right there gives you a nice razor sharp cut. And it's just gonna slice that aluminum like, like it's uh, warm butter. So just trying to give you a little better shot of what the tool looks like there. Total length here, we're going to make this five inches. All right, we're gonna go ahead and cut in these two sides now. We got our five inch there. So this is a piece of four inch wide aluminum, but we're gonna finish it at three and a half inches. So we're just gonna take like a quarter inch off each side, just kind of make it even. So we'll make one a roughing cut and then one a finish cut to make a nice smooth finish there.
I'm going to lay out the lines for the uh, triangle pattern there and uh, we'll get them scribed in and on this particular one on the actual play button there it's more of a radius there on the edge but I'm not going to be uh, machining any radius on the actual edge we're just going to do like a pocket we're just going to machine a pocket in there in the mill and I'll deburr the edge so we'll just uh, move this out of the way I'm going to put some red dicum on here <laughs> 